Good morning guys, I'm just going to give you a very brief tutorial about the work that you need to get completed this week for electronics. Um, you'll see that I'm using the Year 10 Electronics Google Classroom um, to go through this tutorial, but the work is the same for both um, Year 9 and Year 10. So you can both use this tutorial. Um, you'll see yesterday that I've posted up a new lesson um, for today. So this work is going to be... Um, hopefully completed over the following week. Um, I realise that you guys have an assessment task due on Friday, so I haven't given you, you know, really too much work to do, um, but just that we get started, um, let's have a look at what you guys are doing. So we've got our learning intentions and our success criteria um, for this week's worth of work. Our intention is to understand how to put together a successful design folio, and our success criteria is to produce a design folio that addresses all seg sections of the design template that I've given you. So if you look at the bottom of the um, of the post, I've given you a design folio template that you can download and edit. Um, and I've also been working this week on a example folio um, so that you can see the kind of or the quality of work that I expect from you guys to, um, to complete. Um, there are a few tasks that you need to complete this week. The first one being your statement of intent. Your second one being your research of existing designs. And the third one being um, three sketches that you're going to use as your initial design idea. So we'll quickly look at the design folio template to begin with. And then we'll, I'll show you the, um, the completed one or the nearly completed one that I've been working on. So... This first page here is just a title page. You can spruce that up however you want um, a little bit later on. Uh, it's not so important right now. The second page you can see, um, let me just download this so it's easier for you guys because it's a Word document after all. I can just get it here. Okay, we'll do it again like this. Um, so yeah, the first page is your title page. The second page is your table of contents. In your table of contents, I've put everything or every section of the folio that needs to be completed. You have to write the page number. Once you've finished your folio, you have to write the page number for where you'll find all these different sections of your folio. And I've also given you a checklist column so that you can put a tick or a X or whatever it is that you want just so that you know you've completed all those sections as you're working through your folio. This leads us to your first activity that you need to complete today, which is your statement of intent. So um, this is our design situation. You've been asked to design and develop an electric electronic speaker box. The speaker is required to be able to utilize and connect to a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Moving on, you will complete a folio following the design process and using a scaffold provided. The folio will also include a process diary of the development and production process. Okay. The construction of the project will be done in class. In addition to completing the folio and project, you are required to complete three AS1100 drawings, including an orthogonal view dimensioned components and a part list. Okay. So, please write your own statement of intent below. Now, all I'm asking from you here, and I'll show you the completed task as well. So this is just the title page that I've made for, you know, um, my make-believe speaker. So I've just, I've made a, a CAD model for it yesterday as well. So I've just given it a title, an image, and obviously this information here. I haven't been working on the table of contents yet, but the, sta the statement of intent is the same as what you guys have seen. And at the end of it, all I've done is I've added three dot points, okay, that kind of give me some checklist for what I want to achieve. So through the completion of this project, I hope to produce a portable speaker that incorporates a unique design form. So I want the shape of that speaker to be different from what you can see on the market or from um, what it already exists if you were to look at Google Images or something like that. I want to produce a speaker that uses bold colours. Okay, so I want it to have a striking aesthetic um, that people, you know, recognise and it stands out and things like that. And I want to produce a speaker that is inspired by popular culture. 
Okay, so this means that it has to have some, for me anyway, it has to have some resemblance to, you know, either a populist TV show, film, game, whatever it might be. Okay, so just something that, you know, people can notice um, as soon as they look at it, they'll be like, oh, that's the colours of, you know, this or that. So that's my statement of intent. It's really simple. All you're doing is giving yourself three points that you want to achieve for your project because the design situation has already been written for you. The next section of your folio is the research of existing designs. So what you guys will see when you get your template is an empty um, table like this asking you to research five portable speaker designs. Um, obviously you've got your image column you've got your plus, minus and interesting column. So I'm going to look at the completed document that I've just made just so that you can see what I've done. So obviously I've put the images in. For each one of these positives and negatives I've done two points. So I want to see two points at least for your positives and negatives. And then when it comes to your interesting column some of them have two, some of them have one. Okay, so it's just important. It's not you don't have to write a whole lot. You just need to think about, um, you know, what are its actual potential, you know, strengths and weaknesses. Okay, so you can have a look at that. Use that as a um, as an example for you to complete your own. Now that's not all. Once you've done all of this, it's important to understand or to actually evaluate the kind of work that you've done. So um, you'll see that I've done an evaluation of my PMIs. So all I've done is I've looked at the strengths and I've looked at the weaknesses and I've taken the three most important strengths and the three most important weaknesses. So with the strengths are the, th the things that I want to incorporate in my design and the weaknesses are the things that I'm really trying to, um, to keep out of my design. So for example, the things I want to incorporate, I want to have t a two speaker solution. So my design needs to have two outputs. I want to have a unique speaker shape and I want to have a lanyard or support to hold the speaker from. And then the things that I'm trying to exclude or the things that I don't want in my design, I don't want it to be cheap or tacky. Okay, I want colours that are going to complement interior environments. So for example, if you think about your living room or your home theatre room or your lounge room, okay, you don't want something that is going to be so bold in colour or I don't want something that's going to be so bold in colour that it's not going to suit those environments, okay? So you can have, you know, colours that are striking, but still not like, you know, fluoro green or fluoro pink or something like that. And I want a design that's only tailored, and I don't want a design that's only tailored for a specific market. So I want it to be suitable for as many people as possible without them feeling like they can't, you know, purchase or use that product. So that is the um, existing designs PMI. Then the last thing that you got, I want you guys to do this week um, is a little bit of drawing. So you're going to produce three drawings okay, of portable speaker design. So right now your tables look like this. You're going to do a drawing, you know, scan or take a photo of that picture and put it into this you know, top box over here. And then you're going to PMI your own drawings as well. So you've got three drawings to do. Okay. Now, at this stage, just to show you what I expect, I've done this as well. So obviously, you're trying to do these drawings as accurately as possible, and you'll notice that it says your speaker design needs to be annotated. So annotations are when you've got like arrows and writing to help describe your product. So for example, it might be a little bit hard to see this scan, but I've put some dimensions that this space is going to fit within. You know, this is my control panel for my speaker buttons. I've shown where the speakers are, and I've kind of described the um, the stand as well. For my second design, again, I'm annotating the key features of my design, and then for the third one too. Now, what I want you guys to do right now for this project, you are not completing your PMI for your drawings. All I would like you to do is to complete your three drawings and to put them in your template. Okay, we'll PMI them next week. Um, so for the activities this week, all I want you to do is to identify your three points for your statement of intent, complete your research for existing designs. A lot of you have done some of this already. 
and then to come up with three high quality drawings. So they're not something that you're going to just be drawing in two minutes. Use a ruler, take your time. They don't have to be, you know, great drawings, but they do need to represent, you know, some effort. Okay, and then we'll leave everything else till next week. I just want to move forward with this um, template just to show you the expectation. So once we've come up with our drawings, you guys are going to do your PMIs for your drawings. Then you're then going to do an evaluation of your design ideas. Okay, once you've done your evaluation, you need to come up with a final design. And you're going to draw that as a render. So it needs to be colored in. It doesn't necessarily need to have shadow on it, but you're going to draw it as accurately as you can. And what I'll also do sometime this week is um, a couple of tutorials about different types of drawings, just to help you in that regard. And then you also need to come up with a drawing for the measurements. Now, I've done it just as a, a side view and a top view. <coughs> just so that when you start making your product on CAD, you're not making it up on the spot. You've got a drawing that's got some kind of measurements on it that you're working from. Okay, so once you've come up with your final design, this is all you need to do. You need to show a, a, a rendered drawing and a dimensioned drawing. Okay, then you're going to start using CAD, and that's why it's been so important that you get, you know, familiar with CAD now. So that way, when you need to come up with your design, you can do that. So I've made my design on CAD. I've also rendered it. Um, I'll do a tutorial about how to, you know, render. So when we say render, it means color something on CAD. Okay, so I'll do a tutorial about that. And what I've done is I've just taken, set us for two screenshots. I've just done three screenshots of my speaker from different um, views, just so that you can see what it looks like. Um, and then once you've done, made your CAD model, then you can actually um, do these things quite easily. So you need to produce two AS1100 drawings. Okay, so the first one is just an isometric drawing. And I'll go through another tutorial about that with you guys probably in one of our lessons together and the second drawing is your dimension drawing okay so these drawings can be produced fairly easily once you've made your model on CAD okay so once you've done that um, you'll have a steps of construction list as, um, thing as well so every time you complete a part of your project you need to, to fill in the steps of construction. So I've not finished all of this. I've just done all the steps up to your design ideas PMI table. And you can see that I'm being really specific in what I talk about, okay? So as we work through this project, we'll continue to fill up this um, this section of the, of the folio as well, okay? So you're just writing down every step that you're taking through your design process. And the last thing that you're going to need to do is your process diary. So you can see that you've got your date, you've got your image, you've got a description column, and you've got that you know twice just to save space. It says each day you spend working on your practical component of this assessment task, you are required to provide evidence of the work you have done. Okay, so you need to record the date that you were working on that project, an image or screenshot, of the work that you've done and a description explaining what the image shows okay now what does practical work mean practical work means any of the sketching that you're doing any of the CAD modeling that you're doing or any of the eventual in-class electronics that you're doing okay so once you've completed your statement of intent and your um, and your research of existing designs, everything else after that point is CAD. So every day that you spend working on your um, folios needs to have uh, an entry. So the way that I would do it is I'd have an entry here, then I'd move across and do an entry in this column so that you're working across, not down, okay? So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. Okay, and that's how the process diary works, but again, We'll go through a specific tutorial about that. And then obviously the last part of your folio is your final evaluation. Okay, so don't worry about it now, but just so that you understand what you're doing, we're going to evaluate your final solution with relation to your statement of intent. So you're going to put those three points that you made in your statement of intent down here, and then you're going to answer these questions about that. Have I been able to achieve this goal? Have I failed to achieve this goal? 
what would I have changed and what improvements could I have made. Then, like you're doing in your first assessment task, you are going to um, research or you're going to write about the impact of your design on the individual, the impact of your design on society, and the impact of your design on the environment. And that is really, you know, your whole folio. So just so you're clear with what you're doing this week, I'll quickly just go through it again. You are doing, you're reading your statement of intent. You're coming up with your own three points that you want to achieve for this project, three statements for what you want to achieve for this project. You're researching five existing designs and doing a PMI of that. Okay, you're looking at your PMI and finding the three points that are most important for the success and the three points that are most important to exclude so that you don't fail. And the last thing that you're doing is you're coming up with three drawings that you're putting in this fold in this um, these tables here, but you're not doing any of the PMIs for those at this stage. Okay, so that's just a very brief overview of what you guys are going to be doing this week. If you have any questions, please let me know, but it's for the most part quite straightforward. Good luck with your assessment tasks that are due this Friday at 3 p.m. Please make sure that you get them in on time. For those of you who have submitted work and are looking for feedback, I'm hoping to have feedback for you by this afternoon. Okay, so have a great day. Take care. And I'll speak to you guys next week when we start having our Zoom meetings.